Hi everyone, welcome back, I hope you're all well. Today's video is a really random tutorial for this little beaded tomatoes on the vine that I made a long time ago and I posted a picture ages ago on Instagram and a lot of people asked me for a tutorial um, and I've just finally decided to do it now. So this is what it looks like. It could hang as an earring but they would hang kind of on the side like that but it could be cute. Um, yeah, it's a really random design. I just made it for no purpose, like just because I wanted to make it for all my other little beaded fruits and veggies that I'd made. And my niece and nephew like playing with them with their little animals and things. Um, so yeah, if you want to make one of these, keep watching. So you will need some size 11 seed beads in red and green. And you'll need six pieces of thread so five pieces that measure 15 inches and one piece that measures 20 inches and a beading needle and i'm using six pound fire line for this that's everything so let's get started so you want to thread your needle onto one of your 15 inches uh, piece of thread and you're going to start by picking up four of your red seed beads slide those down onto your needle and onto your thread until you've got about four inches left on the end and then you're going to sew up through that first bead. So you have this, now we're going to put one in between each of those. So picking up one red, coming out of this one on the bottom and you're going to go up through the one on the side. Picking up one red, coming out of this one on the side and we're going to go through the one on the top. Again, picking up one red, coming out of this one on the top now, so you're going to go down through this one on the side. And finally for this row, picking up one red, coming out of this one on the side, so you're going to go through the one on the bottom and up into the one above as well. So through the next two. Like that, pull that through. And you should have this. Now we're going to be picking up groups of two. So picking up two red. And coming out of this one here, you're going to skip over one and go through the next one. Picking up two. Coming out of here. Skip over one and go through the next one. up two. Now we're coming out here, skip over one, go through the next one. And finally picking up two, we're coming out here, skip over one, go through the next one. Okay and that was the last two in the row. So we're coming out here, but we need to step up. So you're going to move up through the next two beads. Like that. Okay, so now you've got this and you've got those four groups of two. At this point, if you want, you can just sort of squeeze them up and encourage it to start to sort of curve up into the middle. Make sure you always keep your tail thread pulled tight as well at all times. Okay. This time picking up single beads, so picking up one, still red, coming out of this group of two here, going to skip that one underneath there and go through the next group of two, like that, pull that through, same again, picking up one, skip over one and go through the next group of two, and again. Picking up one, coming out here, skip over one, go through the next two. And then the last bead of the round, picking up one, skip over one and go through the next two. Because it's the end of the row, you also want to step up into the one above as well. So through the next two and then up into the one above like that. Now when you pull that tight, 
should start to curve up and just you can just press those four corners up and encourage it to start to get that curved shape like this okay back to groups of two again so picking up two red coming out of this one here this time we're going to skip over two and go through the next one so those two are going to stack on top of the two below like that okay so picking up two skipping over two and going through the next one pick up two skip over two go through the next one and finally oops picking up two so you're skipping over two going through the next one and is the end of the row so now we need to step up so you're going to move up through these next two as well and now pull that really tight make sure your tail thread is pulled tight as well so now you should have this okay and you're coming out of one of these groups of two so this time picking up single beads, so picking up one. Okay, so you're coming out of these two. You're going to skip that one underneath. If you tilt it on its side, you can see that sits a bit lower. And go through these next two, which are on the top row. Same thing again, picking up one. Skipping the one underneath and going through the next two. And again, picking up one, skipping the one underneath and going through the next two. And one more in this round, picking up one, skipping the one underneath and going through the next two. And now we need to step up. So that was the last one in the row. So you're going to step up into this single bead above. Pull it tight as always. Okay, so we're done with the red. Now you're going to switch to your green beads, picking up one green. So we're coming out here. You're going to skip over two and go through the next single bead like that. Picking up one green. Skipping over two and going through the next single red bead. Again, picking up one green, skip over two and go through the next red single bead. And last one of the row, picking up one, skip over two, go through the next single red bead and then up into that first green bead that we added. Pull that really tight. Keep tail thread pulled tight. Okay, so we have this. Now you want to go through all four of those green beads again. So just circle through all four of those. That's going to bring them together to make this nice little cross on the top of your tomato. Pull it really tight, tail thread really tight. And this is what we have. Now we've got one more bead to add, so picking up one more green and holding it like this, my thread's coming out of this bead in this direction. I'm going to go through the bead opposite in the same direction so that my thread will be coming out the same side like that. Now go back through that bead that you just added on the top. Okay, I'm back into this bead on this side, on the other side. So it's already connected to this side. So I'm going to go through this side. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so now you've got this, you just need to tie off both your working thread and your tail thread. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the tail thread here. So 
doesn't matter where you are on the tomato, I try to do it towards the bottom so that you can't see the knots. So I'm coming out of this bead here. So you're going to take your needle under the thread that's connecting this bead to the next one. See that thread? You've got to try and catch that thread with your needle like that. Pull that through to create a loop and go through that loop two times. And that's going to tighten around that thread that we went under. Pull it really tight. And then always, always, always travel several beads away from your knot before you cut it. And pull it really tight and it should disappear like that inside the beads. And you can tie a couple of knots if you want. I only tend to tie one on these tiny little tomatoes. And then move away, like I said, and then cut your thread. Do the same thing with your other thread as well. So now what you need to do is make four more tomatoes using your four remaining 15 inch pieces of thread and then your final tomato, make it in exactly the same way but you're going to use your longer piece of thread which is what I've done here which is why I haven't cut this one off. So on your final tomato you can cut off your tail thread like I have but you want to leave your working thread attached. That's why we made that one a little bit longer so that you can join them all together with that remaining thread. So keep going until you've got six tomatoes in total. Five of them you've cut off both your threads and on the sixth one you've just left your working thread attached. And then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've got my needle threaded onto my working thread on this last tomato. I'm going to move up so from wherever you are, move back up so that you're coming out of this bead we added on the top. So I'm just going to do that by moving up and then up into that bead. So this is where you want to be. And then you're going to pick up seven green beads. Like that. And then taking one of your other tomatoes, you're going to go through that bead that's on the top like that. Okay, so you have this. Now from here, you're going to go straight back through four of those green beads. Pull that so it's really tight. Okay, so you've got this. Now you're going to pick up another green. And that bead that you're coming out of, you're going to go back into that on the other side to create a loop. Keeping it pulled tight all the time. Like that. Now you're going to go back through that one you just added. And make sure that that stays tight. Now picking up another green, you're going to go through this one that you just added but on the opposite side to where the string's coming out of. And then through the bead we added. So we've got this. And again, picking up one. Going into this bead that you're coming out of, but on the opposite side. And back through that bead that we added. So we have this so far, and now picking up one more. Going through that bead that we're coming out of, but on the opposite side. And back through the bead we just added. Pull that really tight. So right now we have this. Okay, so we're coming out of this bead here. You're going to pick up three green followed by one of your tomatoes going through it, through that bead on the top. And slide that down. So we have this. Now coming out of the tomato here, you're going to go back through four of those beads. So back through the three and back into that one that we were coming out of on the same side like that. 
Now same again, but on the other side. So you're picking up three plus your next tomato. Like that, so they're the ones we've added. So we're coming out here, we're gonna go back through those three and back into that bead that's connected to in the middle. So through the three and then back through that bead in the middle. And make sure that's all pulled tight. So we have this. So now we're gonna do the same thing again that we did here. We're gonna add four more beads from here to in the same way that we did here. So you're picking up one, going back into that bead that you're coming out of on the other side. And back through the bead you added. Like that. So now you're going to add three more beads in that same way. So that we have this and then you're going to do the same thing again. So you're picking up three plus your tomato. And sliding those down. And then going back through the three that you added and back up into that one in the middle. And now add the final tomato in the same way on the other side. So now we have this and they're all connected. So now you should be coming out here on this bead at the end of this middle row. And what I'm going to do is zigzag back through all those beads again a couple of times. And that's going to really strengthen and straighten out that middle row and just make it feel a bit nicer to hold. So then all that's left to do is to move your thread down into one of your tomatoes and tie off your thread in the same way that we did before. And then it's all finished. So this is what it looks like. It's very cute, although I'm not sure what you would do with it. I didn't really have an intention when I first made it. I just wanted to make it because it looked so cute. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway and you're able to make one of these cute little <laughs> tomato vines. Um, comment down below anything else you'd like to see, um, any other random video ideas that you have. And you can follow me on Instagram at Beading by Hannah and like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.